So I've got a reassessment form whenever a student wants to do a reassessment. What it looks like from their point of view is they are on our class page and they click on reassess and they scroll down and then they have to answer these questions on what they would like to do to reassess. Um, these what I want, reasons I want to reassess and all that. Even saying if they want to come to office hours which day, putting a little reminder of when my office hours are and they hope to earn a goal of that. Now I used to just get an email that said when a student filled it out but then it had to go to Google Drive and then open it up and then sometimes it was written like this where you couldn't really see what it said and I would have to click right there and reformat it and then do all that stuff. And so it was a bunch of extra little steps just to see who reassessed. Um, so I found a way to get an email uh, sent to me whenever a student filled this form out that said what the student put on the form. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go on add-ons. You probably won't see this form mule email merge utility, so you're going to click on get add-ons and you're going to search form mule. And it's the email merge utility and then you'll just click on that and it'll say save free. I've already got it on here, so I'm just going to click on add-ons and then click on launch. And it'll say, okay, I want to do it on the uh, form responses one. Um, I want I want to get an email whenever someone submits uh, a form. So I'm going to turn this on, uh, send it on submit. And then I'm just going to say next to set my template up. And then I'm just going to say save template settings. And it's creating this template. I'm going to say next, edit template. And this is going to say, well, when you get your when, when you get an email, what do you want it to do? Um, and you can get it to where it sends it to you and the student. I would probably, I'm probably just going to get it sent to me. Um, so I'll put my email right here. Um, uh, I'll just go ahead and put it. And if there's no one else that I want to send it to, subject uh, reassessment by and here's what's really neat is if I want the subject to say reassessment by and then put the student's name right there in the subject I can just grab this little thing right here and click name or I just click on it and it says name and it's just gonna automatically put their name in there and in the body um, I can just say okay I'm gonna put the student's name it's gonna say name with their name I'm gonna hit enter a couple times and then I just go in and I actually put the questions that are on there. I would really like an opportunity to reassess on, and then it puts what their answer is. I usually will put enter, so it's in the new, it's a new line, it's a little bit easier to read. And then I'll say the reasons I want to reassess. And what's cool is it's saying it's showing me the question, and then this little bracket thing right here is telling me it's gonna put whatever answer they put for that question. I go through and then I just put all of them in here. Um, and then once I get this, if I wanted the student to get a copy of this as well, I can just put a comma. And as long as on your reassessment form you require the Cabelli login to view this form, it's going to automatically get the student's email in there. And so you can use just username um, right there, and then it's going to also send one to the student if you want to. But I don't send one to the student, I just send one to myself. Um, you can decide if you want to do that. So yeah, this is what the, the page that you set it up on. You say preview and send all. And this is what it would look like. It would say name. Um, I deleted the names on these, so but that's why it's blank. But this student said they wanted to reassess on lesson 1.1 understanding decimals. The reason I didn't do well was because I misunderstood what I was supposed to do for comparing since the quiz. I I did the assignment and it actually shows me what those emails will be um, since I already have three in here um, and then any new ones that are that are submitted I'm gonna get an email for that as well